guys welcome back to the channel um, this is the the videos I'm doing for the SRT so if you haven't watched the previous video basically I decided to after say 13 years of climbing I've decided to start doing SRT so basically running through the very base start and basic if you're if you're deciding to go into it yourself I'm gonna start right from the bottom and progressively with the the videos we'll get more technical so uh yeah stay tuned Literally 10 foot in two seconds. Stinging out. So guys, yeah, it's um I can I'm only five minutes into this journey and already I can see the benefits. I mean if I got a nice 30 foot throw up there with the throw ball and got the line in, you'll be up there in no time absolutely no time compared to if I got a rope up there and double roped up from the bottom you'd be bollocksed and I've done it I've done it myself and it was the only way I knew and a lot of guys it's the only way they know and it's hardship it makes you not want to climb trees with this I, I can any of you guys lose in passion this is the way to go I've got a whole new passion since I've got this gear um, and I can just see even late into my career 15 years in I feel I feel like this is gonna bring me along a lot further so I'm delighted and I hope you lot are enjoying the videos and stick around for the ride and hopefully some of you guys get into it and some of you guys that are are experienced keep commenting and helping us out see you in a bit i'm gonna try and hit this big limb up here it's about 30 30 foot off the ground now bear in mind i'm a beginner Who the fuck did that go? <laughs> it went behind. Oh god. What a start. There's a skill to this, I can tell you. And I haven't got it. Am I going to give up though? Yes, yes, look at that, it's a bit tangled, literally the weight of that branch was stuck in it. So we've got a rope, I yeah, hope that does it. Oop, we lost that. Yes, that's what I wanted. What are you going to do? So I don't have to try and undo it up there before I come back down. I'm going to do a alpine butt fly. 
so I'll be able to pull it back down from down here so <coughs> cinch it off so this is the side you're going to be climbing on and then when you want to retrieve it you pull this one so instead of doing a running bow line you do an alpine butterfly I've encountered my first problem already with the zigzag. I obviously got too carried away with getting the line in and the bag set up with the weight onto the rope. I had forgotten to put my zigzag on. It's not a midline attachable piece of equipment like the others, like the rope runner, uh, sorry, the rope, runner, uh, rope wrench um, and bits and bobs like that. So now I'm having to take all my rope out just to put the zigzag on. So there's a little downfall now, already. So I've had to go to the end of the rope to stick the zigzag on. And now just pull it all through until you get it where you want it. So I'm now connecting the knee ascender. It's already strapped to the back of my harness, it's over my shoulder. And I'm now connecting it to my laces on my boot. Some boots have a hole already there for it. And I'm now connecting it onto the rope as well. So from what I know, you put the knee ascender on first and then you hang on the rope, which I'm doing now, as you can see. And I will, I will engage my, um, my foot ascender now. Now, I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I'm finding it harder with the knee ascender. The foot ascender is moving great. Every time I lift my right leg with the foot ascender, I'm gaining ground. But with the left leg, which is the knee ascender, it's not always hitting. Maybe one out of three steps is hitting good. So I think there's a bit of an adjustment I need to make on that knee ascender. Um, and now you can see I could be quite a while here because I'm gonna I'm about to ascend descend sorry and you have to disconnect the knee ascender foot ascender and the neck tether That's good. I'm still unfit though. Whew, catch my breath. Right. I'm finding it very difficult when I'm up there, ready to come down, to kind of balance and get this off, the knee ascender and the foot ascender. You can't descend if they're on. So that's gonna take a bit of learning. Hopefully I get used to it. Yeah, it's fun. Really fun. That was a bit better that time. But I decided to put the neck tether on this one instead of this one. And it flipped the carabiner like that with tension so don't put the neck tether on the bottom one I don't think top one's fine 
Whew. Well, guys, that was absolutely amazing. No, that was in serious now. That, that's the most fun I've had going up a tree by far. Uh, now I'm still, I'm, I'm still very unfit. It's like an elephant trying to go up a rope. But if I had double roped that, so a hitch climb, a, a zigzag on a double rope, whatever you do, prusik like I used to do, that would have killed me. It was about 30 foot roughly. Now I haven't got measuring tape, so I can't tell you that exactly, but it was roughly in my eyes about 30 foot. And I'm up there in about 25 to 30 seconds. Now, that might be long time, a long time to some of you guys that are used to it, but I'm telling you now, it's fucking easy. Now I was nervous because it's new to me. I'm kind of looking at the uh, where I do the alpine butterfly, and you anchor it onto the to the limb. I'm looking at the way the rope is kind of pushing against the loop, and I'm wondering when I'm moving and it's swinging a, a wee bit. Is it rubbing too much? But I don't think it is. I think it's just in your mind. But uh, yeah, no, it's absolutely amazing. Now, the things I'm finding a wee bit difficult. So, the knee ascender. It just doesn't, I know you have to kind of adjust it. Now, that's something I'm gonna have to learn. How, how do I, which way do I adjust it? Do I tighten it? Do I loosen it? Uh, and when I say tighten it and loosen it, there's a bungee cord, so you can actually untie it and tighten it, or you can loosen it, um, either or. So I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that, because like every every time I took a step, I don't know if you're gonna see in, in, in the clips, every time I took a step with the knee ascender, it wasn't always hitting. With the foot ascender, it was hitting every time, obviously because it's, it's right on your foot you're getting it every time but the knee the knee ascender just didn't seem to hit every time I put my, my leg up for a step so that's something I'm gonna have to work on and I, I think that's if you get a knee ascender I think you're gonna have the same issues um, the neck tether so this obviously you can buy a proper neck tether but I was just using the uh, the straps on my um, on my jacket and a carabine it worked perfectly Sometimes I'm forgetting to put it on or take it off. So it's important when you're ascending to have that on. And I noticed that I was putting it on the top carabiner, so the one that's connected to the chicane. That's fine, that works perfect. The second or third time I went up, I put it on the bottom carabiner that's connected to your harness. And I was halfway up and I had noticed that the carabiner went from that position to that position with my weight on it and that's that's dodgy because that gate could open and you're gone so um yeah that was um that was uh, a dodgy moment up the tree so this is this is all the learning process you're, you're finding these things out and uh, so yeah the top gar carabiner the one connected to chicane is what you have to put that on i believe um because i had no issues with it going up at all when i had it on the top one so that, the knee ascender is a problem I've ran into. Remembering to put that on and take it off then when you want to descend. So smooth coming down, super smooth. I've not felt anything as smooth. Now I haven't used a rope runner or an akimbo. I've used an akimbo once, but that was about two, two years ago, I think. A year and a half, two years ago. But it really is smooth coming down. Um, so that that's a fucking that's a positive to it um so yeah so far now i haven't done much i've only gone up and down so far and i'm really liking it i'm really liking it now i've got to delve into it a bit more now in the next couple of weeks hopefully the next videos we can maybe change our systems over while we're going up and maybe do a few limb walks or something like that maybe we'll see uh, hopefully I can get John down and maybe a couple of the other guys down and we'll we'll do a few uh, few different climbs and really get delve in deep to, to the process of SRT climbing. So so far guys, I'm loving it. There are a couple of problems there that I'll try and rectify from now until the next video, the knee ascender. Um, 
yeah, it's it's feeling good. It's feeling good. But look, um, but look, guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I am. I'm really enjoying it, and I really think if you're even half considering going to SRT already, I know this is going to be a benefit to my career and my body and and my climbing level. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and there's gonna be plenty more of this content coming. Peace. So guys, as promised, the um, Alpine butterfly knot coming up. <laughs> so, get your hand like that. Put the rope around three times. You then pull this one, the middle one, underneath. Back round and back through the bottom there. And it should look like that. Now, when you pull that middle one through, depending on how long you want this, you have to put like a little over more through or less through, depending on how long you want it. That's that. Cheers, guys.